Hello, it's Nico with Food Cravings and today we're making something special Tacos al Pastor With yet another dish shrouded in the veil of mystery I felt it was my duty as always to shed some light on one of the tastiest dishes ever The method of cooking al pastor comes from the Middle East and is inspired by none other than shawarma which was brought to Mexico by Middle Eastern immigrants who moved there in the early 1900s. They also brought their famous technique of spit roasted meat. The English translation of Al Pastor is, quote, in the style of the shepherd. Now let's get started. First we'll make our adobo sauce, and for that we'll need a few anchote chilies, along with guajillo chilies. And since they're naturally dried, we want to bring them to a boil. Once they start simmering, We'll go ahead and transfer them onto our cutting board so that we can give them a rough chop. And there's a reason why we bring these to a boil. It's so that they'll be easier to work with. Next, we'll finish fishing them out. As they begin to cool, we'll go ahead and chop them up. You can consider this your first pro tip. And as eager as I was in starting our adobo sauce, here I decided to allow these to cool just a while longer before cutting them. You know, safety first. A few moments later, as they were safe to handle, I gave them a rough chop. Next, we'll dump them in our food processor along with the garlic and onion. And I scraped them off the cutting board like so. Now we'll add in the rest of the ingredients, starting with some vinegar. Once that was drizzled in, it was time to add in our next ingredient, none other than some freshly squeezed lime juice. So I made it rain. Next I added some cumin, coriander and allspice. Not to mention some freshly ground anato, mainly for color, along with some dried oregano. Once we determined all our spices were respectively added, it was then time to close the lid and give this baby a whirl. And what we're going for here is more of a smooth paste than a rough ground. After single-handedly screwing the lid on tight, it was time for an earthy cyclone of goodness. Throughout all this pulsing, it looks like this was coming along nicely. Check it out! Shortly thereafter, we were finally done. So I began scraping the adobada sauce off the sides of the food processor. After all, I was about ready to add it to the pork. Speaking of pork, we will now begin prepping it by simply cutting it in thinner slices, approximately a quarter to a half inch thick. And what this will do is help simulate meat stacked on a spit just like a shawarma rotisserie. And I'll talk more about this on the blog post. Next, what we'll do is add the pork in a Ziploc bag. Then, add to that the adobada mixture. Once we're done with that, we'll refrigerate for at least 4 hours or overnight. And what we'll do next is, in a separate pan, prep our pineapple as it magically appears. And right about now I'll be showing you the proper way to cut a pineapple. Once you've chopped the top off, simply stand the pineapple up with one hand cutting away at the sides of the peel. And I've found throughout my lifetime of doing this that a boning knife works best because it helps you get closest to the peel, not having to sacrifice a lot of the pineapple like you see here. Once you've cut off the rough parts, Simply turn it over like I did here and go ahead and cut the bottom flat. Next what we'll do is make sure we cut the rest of the skin off if there are any parts left. I've gone ahead and quartered the pineapple itself. Next it's time to peel the core off and we'll do that by simply grabbing each quarter, holding it with our thumb in the back and sliding our boning knife across to remove the core. Observe! After that what we'll do is cut the pineapple in chunks. And it's important to practice safety when handling a knife as you all know by now. If you can't do it off your hand, go ahead and place that quarter on the cutting board and cut accordingly. Meanwhile, our first batch of al pastor was ready. 
Man, did that ever look good. Next, it was time to set aside our diced onion and cilantro mixture before placing the pork on our cutting board. On a side note, here's another pro tip. Make sure your meat rests at least 20 minutes to an hour before carving. And now, for the moment of truth, here I might suggest that you use a very sharp carving knife like I did. And the objective is to carve very thin slices. Or better yet, it's best to cut as a shaving motion straight downward. And by the looks of it, this came out completely perfect. A nice medium rare on one side and a medium well on the other side. Next, it was time to plate up, at which point in time, I went on a quest for a drizzle and came back with some hot sauce before gripping the taco with my bare hands. And hasta la vista, baby. And before I give you the final verdict, why not try that again? To none other than 80s freestyle. As I continued carving away, at what some people would call the best tacos al pastor ever! And that's Chef Nico style! Might I add, on a side note, that this part was well done. And as you know by now, I have a technique where I could please all kinds of eaters. The ones that like it well done and medium rare. And here's a batch that I made earlier to simulate a rotisserie. All while listening to 80s freestyle. Because I was cooking in my kitchen and having fun. As I was carving away at the second batch, I noticed the slices came out perfect. And this time, I wanted to include a final step to this to make it even better. In a separate pot, I dumped in all the slices to recrisp in their own oil. This really simulates the shawarma experience, or in this case, tacos al pastor. And while I had this on medium high heat, I continued stirring to my desired doneness. And as I began plating, or as some of you would call it, building my tacos al pastor, I couldn't stop piling it on, much like the freestylers couldn't stop the rock. So I took this time to make it rain down pineapples. And in case you were wondering, I cut these at random above the taco. Check it out. And at this point in time, I could say life was good, or at least tasty as I dropped in some onions with cilantro and by now you all know what time it is so I went in for a taste of a combination of that succulent moist yet savory pork along with the crispiness of the onion freshness of cilantro and sweetness of pineapple along with the spice of the adobada provided for an incredible flavor profile and on that flavor note why don't you do me a small favor and take a moment to like subscribe and share this with your friends I hope you've enjoyed my recipe for tacos al pastor and now you can add it to your arsenal of weeknight meals for ingredient amounts and more info simply visit www.chefnico.blogspot.com bon appetit enjoy and I look forward to seeing you in my next video recipe